हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल 5.4 ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 5 द हीट इंजन साइकिल्स फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय जीजी स्टॉक एंड विकांकी The statement of the example is calculate the ideal air standard cycle efficiency based on the auto cycle for petrol engine with a cylinder bore of 50 mm a stroke of 75 mm and a clearance volume of 21.3 cubic cm so in this statement we have given uh the cylinder bore which is basically the dia of the cylinder and it is 50 mm also we have given the stroke or length of stroke that is 75 mm it is represented by small l and it has value of 75 mm clearance volume is 21.3 cubic cm and we are required to find the ideal air standard cycle efficiency that is eta so now to find the efficiency for that we need the formula or expression for that so this is basically the expression which will be used for the calculation of uh, ideal air standard cycle efficiency and it is equal to eta is equal to 1 minus 1 over compression ratio power gamma minus 1 where in this expression rv is compression ratio and gamma is adiabatic index and its value for air is 1.4 having no units as discussed in previous problems as well so to find first the volumetric compression ratio for that we will need this swept volume and the formula for that term is pi by 4 into d into l so this is if i write the expression so this is pi by 4 into this is the dia d square and this is the stroke or length of stroke So this is the expression of swept volume. Now we know, and we have given that D is 50 millimeter and L is 75 millimeter. So putting these values in this expression, we get 147-200 cubic meter. So if we want to convert it to cubic centimeter, so this will be divided by Thousand and it will become one forty-seven point two cubic centimeter. Also, to find the total cylinder volume, because we need two things to find the compression ratio. First, the total cylinder volume, and second is the clearance volume. So, to find the total cylinder volume, we will add the swept volume and clearance volume. 
as designated over here. This is swift volume VS and this is clearance volume VC. So when we add these two quantities, one is 137.2 and second is 21.3 cubic centimeter. So we get 168.5 cubic centimeter. Now it's very easy to find the compression ratio and it is a simple ratio of total cylinder volume and clearance volume. So 168.5 divided by 21.3 we get 7.91451. So this is the compression uh, ratio for this cylinder. Now to find the efficiency ideal air standard cycle efficiency for that we will use this expression this expression is derived in the textbook chapter number 5 uh, under the topic auto cycle so you can go there and uh, see the derivation of this uh, expression so I am directly putting the values in this so it will become 1 minus 1 over 7.914 which is calculated over here and gamma value is 1.4 so when we subtract one, uh, 0.4 from 1.4 we get 0.4 and that gamma is the adiabatic index for air so finally we get the value which is 0.563 and in percentage it is 56.3% so this is the overall discussion about example 5.4. Now let's go to the um, auto cycle. Well, I am just trying to understand those students uh, who are interested to know about the basics of auto cycle for that. If we draw the auto cycle on PV diagram that is the thermodynamic property diagram. So it will look like this. There are four processes involved in the auto cycle. One is from 1 to 2, this is isentropic compression. 2 to 3 is the reversible constant volume heating. 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion. And 4 to 1 is reversible constant volume cooling. So these are the four processes which are uh, involved in the basic uh, auto cycle. So this is all about uh, this is all about example 5.4 and its discussion. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.